girls welcome back to another video today i'm coming to y'all with my first ever kind of somewhat semi makeup tutorial i've never done like a formal makeup look like this before it's pretty natural it's kind of like a step above my everyday look make sure that you're subscribed to my channel if you want to see more videos from me i post two videos a week sundays and wednesdays at 12 p.m central standard time let's go ahead and get into the makeup look all right so don't mind my hair it's it's gonna get done it looks a mess right now but we're starting off with moisturizing our face and y'all i'm just using the same moisturizer that i always use and i'll try to have it like linked down below or something so that y'all can check it out because i really love it it's the kiehl's moisturizer Y'all know. Y'all already know. I don't even know why. I'm just repeating the same thing. I've been using the same moisturizer since I was like 16 or something. But it's just this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I'll have it linked down below. I love it. Since I don't really put on foundation, I mainly use concealer to spot conceal. I do have like some dark circles under my eyes. And then I have some acne scarring right here. But I always break out right here like every month and I always have like acne scars left over from it but I mostly like to spot conceal so I go kind of crazy with the concealer underneath my eyes specifically so I like to just make sure that that is heavily moisturized because I don't want it to look I feel like it looks weird and all dry whenever I put concealer on and my under eyes aren't like thoroughly moisturized so I just went in with this Kiehl's Powerful strength line reducing concentrate. I like the way that it feels. It feels silky And it just it does a really good job of moisturizing underneath my eyes You can also put this like on other areas that you find that you have fine lines for me It's my smile lines right here. So I like to put it right there, too Okay, and now that the moisturizer is out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. I don't know what I did to my eyebrows, y'all. I tried to shape them by myself using like the little, um, the little face shaver. And I accidentally like made this eyebrow look really weird and short. So now my eyebrows are uneven and it just looks a mess. So I have no other option but to... <laughs> Go in and fill it in just a little bit. I just want to make it look natural and even. I'm not trying to make my eyebrows look fuller or anything because I feel like they are already pretty full. So I'm going in with this Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. It is in the shade Medium Brown. I think I should have got a darker color though, but eh, this would do. I really like that this has a brush at the end so you can just kind of use one tool instead of having to have like a separate tool for your eyebrows and I'm just gonna lightly ever so lightly go in and kind of fill it in in the sparse areas ah! okay we just gonna pretend like I didn't just drop that and then I just go in and brush it to make sure that the product is kind of blended into my brow and you don't see any harsh lines like this brow's good it's this one this is the problematic one let's see what we can do okay i think that that's even i think it looks okay what do y'all think i'm just gonna go ahead and try to clean it up right here using some concealer this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. It's full coverage and it's in the shade 4.5. And I'm going to put that on this e.l.f. Duo brush that I got in this little brush kit that I got from e.l.f. This one also has a little spoolie at the end for your eyebrow. And then it has like this really nice and precise tiny brush at the end that you can use to kind of shape your eyebrows or... Do whatever that you want to do with them. And I try to do this very carefully because I don't want to look like a clown. And I only do it underneath my eyebrow. I don't really like the halo brow look. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like 
whenever you do this and you underline your brow underneath and you do it again at the top I just don't really like the way that look because I don't like putting makeup on my forehead at all so I just try to prevent that Then I'm going to blend that out with this really tiny beauty blender that I got from e.l.f. And then whatever I have left over, I just kind of dab it on my lid. Okay, eyebrows are done. Hopefully y'all can tell the difference because from my view, it looks like I didn't even do anything but I can see it in person. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the base layer of my face using that same concealer that I used underneath my brows and I'm going to put it underneath my eyes. And then I'm just gonna try to cover up these blemishes that I have on my face from these breakouts. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of my chin too. And then to blend it out, I want to use a beauty blender. I know that quite a few people don't really like using beauty blenders. They like to use brushes like this. But every time I try to use a brush, I end up with streaks. And I don't know if y'all can tell, but this concealer is not a brightening concealer for me. It kind of matches my skin tone perfectly and so I'm not really looking to have that brightening type of look like white underneath my eyes which I know is really popular I don't really want that because I'm kind of going for a somewhat natural look so I'm not gonna add any of my other concealers because I have some other concealers that are like a shade or two too light for me and I use that to kind of stack on top and make my concealer look brighter under my eyes but that is just not the vibe today today we just going for the regular regular more natural type of base and then i do have like some discoloration right here on my nose so i just go in and tap that out too Okay, and again, no makeup on my forehead. It's just a preference, y'all, it's just a preference. Now I'm just gonna take my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder. This is a blurring powder foundation and it's in the shade Y425. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set all of the concealer with my powder. I'm also gonna put it like on my cheeks and stuff. I'm gonna put it everywhere since I didn't, since I don't really do foundation. I just use this powder instead to kinda make my skin look a little bit more even, except for my forehead. <laughs> and it's looking like I need to add a little bit more of this concealer to cover up those three little dots. There we go. Next, I wanna move on to blush. I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Fit Me blush. It's in the shade 50, the number 50. And it's just really pretty and pink. I love using blush, y'all, but I'm gonna try not to go ham with this because this blush is very pigmented. I'm just gonna to try to use a little bit and make sure that I blend it out. Okay, and if I'm doing my makeup in the wrong order, that is perfectly fine. You don't have to comment it. I already know that I probably do my makeup out of order. It's just, I go in the order that makes sense to me, you know? Now I'm gonna move on to my eyes. Gonna put on some eyeshadow. Y'all know I don't really do this, but I wanna be using this Get That Dough palette from Beauty Bakery. And I just love how neutral these colors are. I feel like I can use it for just a lot of different looks, especially like the more natural glam or just natural look. So I wanna go in with this um, 
not that brush fluffy eye blender so i'm going to use this and i'm going to go in with um hmm this color right here this darkish brown and i'm going to put that in my outer corner right here Okay, and now I'm gonna go for, y'all I'm literally making this up as I go. Let's do this one right here. I'm gonna go with this light brown color. Then I'm gonna go for this gold shimmery type of color right here. It's looking a little bit crazy right now, so I'm going to just literally blend the mess out of it. Like, just start blending. <laughs> okay, I think that it looks a little bit better. It looks as good as it's going to look. I think that it's going to look better with lashes on, so let's do that next. Alright, so I'm just going to speed through doing my lashes because I feel like I have showed that so many times on my channel already. So I'm just going to be using these Allure lashes. You can really use any individual lash pack. And then I'm going to go in with this Eyler 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 <laughs> London 18 hour lash glue. This is in the color black. I like to use black. I don't really like to use the white ones because it leaves like a weird looking residue. So my go to is black glue and I'm just going to go ahead and apply the lashes. y'all i am back i had to cut the camera real quick because i had to really focus in on these lashes I just have my little mirror down here but yeah i think that the look looks a lot better now that i did my lashes lashes are definitely a must for me in my makeup routine i could honestly just have my lashes done and i'll feel put together so this is really a staple. I know for some people, it's they cannot leave the house without their eyebrows. For me, I cannot leave the house without my lashes on. Let me know what, what's your thing. What can you not leave the house with? It can be lip gloss, it can be your eyelashes, your eyebrows, blush, whatever it is. Just let me know in the comments below. I have to go ahead and kind of fix my eyeshadow though because I kind of messed it up <laughs> while trying to do my lashes but i think that it looks fine now i love eyeliner i just discovered it like a couple of months ago too and i just love how it just intensifies your eyes you know what i mean so i make sure that i put eyeliner on let me get this mirror so i don't mess up okay now that the eyeliner is applied the next step for me is to do mascara. I like to use this Merit Beauty Mascara. This is cruelty free, I love it. Going over my bottom lashes with mascara is kind of a must for me because I put on a lot of concealer under my eyes and it can kind of like stain my lashes brown and it just kind of looks like I don't have any. So I like to put this on just to kind of, you know, remind the folks that I do have lashes at the bottom and that is it that's it for the face and the eyes and now i'm gonna move on to the lips so i have been obsessed completely obsessed with this lip combo this is the beauty bakery matte lipstick this is in the shade truffle butter no this is in the shade truffle maker and then i like to go over top with the fenty hot chocolate gloss balm 
these two combinations y'all amazing first i'm gonna try to wipe off this excess lip gloss that i have on then i'm gonna go ahead and just line my lips and i do this really lightly because I don't want like my entire lip to be brown. I don't want like my full lips to be covered with this. And then before this kind of dries, I kind of wipe off a little bit if there's any excess. And then I go in with my lip gloss. Oh, I forgot to do something, y'all. I forgot to go in with my loose powder underneath my eyes. I really don't know if I want to test it. I think if I try to do it now, I'm going to mess up my eyeliner and my lashes. We're going to just do a little bit and see what happens. So I'm just going to take this little baby beauty blender. And then I'm going to dip it in this loose powder. Just a tiny bit. I'm trying to like stay underneath my eyelashes so that I don't put powder on top of my mascara. And I want to kind of come up here by my brows. Okay, now we done. Now that we're finished with the makeup, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair. Probably nothing. I think I'm just going to shake it out. We'll see how it looks. Actually, I need to moisturize it. Where's my moisturizer? So, I love this coconut oil. Oh, geez, no. I've been using this forever. So, I'm just going to spray my hair with this. And I do always have this coconut oil linked. This and the argan oil that looks just like this, except it's argan oil. And I go crazy with this because it smells really good. And I like to walk past people and for people to be like, wow, your hair smells really good or you smell really good. So... I go a little crazy with this. Not gonna hurt nothing. And I have quite a few tangles because I slept with it in that bun last night. So I'm just gonna try to like fix that a little bit. Just like that. Just kind of tuck that away and hide it. <laughs> Sticking out a little bit, but for the most part, this is it. This is the final look. So let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Let me know if you liked this kind of makeup video. I've never done like a semi tutorial. I wouldn't really call this a tutorial, but I've never done like an actual formal makeup video like this before. So let me know if you liked it in the comments. I will try my best to have everything linked down below. All of the products, the brushes that I used, all that. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I'll talk to you in my next one. And I'm out.